Hi students, uh, this lesson is for second year back, unit number 10, International Organizations, Communication, Responding to Good and Bad News. So, have you ever gone through a situation where somebody told you some good news, but you didn't respond because you didn't know how to say it? Or, have you ever gone through situation where somebody told you a bad news but you couldn't respond because you didn't know what to say. If so, this lesson will help you with a couple of expressions which will permit you to respond to good and bad news. Let's take these two dialogues. So here, there are two dialogues. The first one is a phone conversation between Andy and his mother. The mother, hi Andy. Andy, hi mom, how are you? The mother, fine. Your wife had a baby this morning. Andy, that's great. I'm very happy to hear this wonderful news. I'll be with you the soonest possible. Good. Now, what news did Andy get from his mother? Your wife had a baby this morning. This is the news Andy got from his mother. How did he respond when he heard this news. What did he say? How did he answer? Okay, so how did he respond? <coughs> That's great. I'm very happy to hear this wonderful news. That's great. I'm very happy to hear this wonderful news. Great. Now, let's get to dialogue number two between Tom and Sandra. Sandra, hi Tom, you look unhappy. Tom, yeah, I feel terrible. I have just got this letter which says that I have lost my job. Sandra, I'm awfully sorry to hear this bad news. So, what news did Sandra get from Tom? I have just got a letter or this letter which says that I have lost my job. So Tom had lost his job. How did Sandra respond? How did she respond? I am awfully sorry to hear this bad news. So this is a good news and Andy responds saying, that's great, I'm very happy to hear this wonderful news. And this is bad news. So Sandra responded, I'm awfully sorry to hear this bad news. So here is an example. And the following chart will show more other expressions to use if you are responding to good news or to bad news. So let's begin with the expression we use to respond to good news. If you are responding to a good news, so you can use different expressions such as that's great, fantastic, or wonderful. For example, your friend uh, says to you, my father has bought new car. My father has bought new car. Then you can respond saying, oh, that's great, or wonderful, or fantastic. Or he, an old friend says, I get a better job, I get a better job. Sounds great. Your friend says, I am accepted at Harvard University in USA. I am leaving to USA next week. Wow. That sounds exciting or congratulations, okay? 
I am very happy to hear that you are accepted at Harvard University. Or you can say, great news, you really deserve it. Or you can say, superb. Or really, I can't believe that. That's awesome. Etc. The other expressions here, these ones are used to respond to bad news. So, for example, we can say, last night, uh, my neighbor had, had got terrible fight with his family. I'm awfully sorry to hear that. We can say, for example, uh, Tom divorced Sandra. Oh, and awfully sorry to hear that. Or, that must be awful. Or, I know how Sandra must be feeling. Okay? Or you can say, you know, my friend had an accident yesterday and he passed away. Oh, my condolence. Please accept my deepest sympathy. I do sympathize with you. Or, oh my gosh etc. Next, let's take some exercises. The first exercise match the following sentences with the corresponding functions. So, you have uh, sentences and their functions responding to good news, responding to bad news. The first one, great news, you deserve it. So, is this sentence used to respond to good news or bad news? Great, good news. My heart is saddened by the death of your mother. So, bad news. I am glad to hear that you get a better job. Responding to good news. My deepest sympathy. Patty is with you. Responding to bad news. Please accept my deepest sympathy for the death of your mother. Responding to bad news. Next, respond to the following situations. First situation, your friend's visa application to Canada was accepted. So how would you respond to this? Very happy to hear that your visa application to Canada was accepted. Congratulations! They start building a large big park in your city. So your city is very small and it does not have places for entertainment and you really need one. So you heard that they are starting to build a large and big park in your city. How would you respond? Sounds great. Sounds interesting. That's awesome. Very happy to hear this. Last situation. You heard about the loss of your friend's father. Please accept my deepest sympathy for the death of your mother. Thank you very much for watching.